to fuel up. Gonna pick up Reesey boy. I'm gonna go to the hills. This new area, just try and find some. The main goal today is to find some sign. Try and see where the deer are at in this new spot. So, like the spots we've been to uh, in this area, uh, not much sign, one wallow and a couple of rubs maybe, but yeah, I mean we saw a spike here on the first hunt, but uh, not a lot of action, so we'll see what this side creek holds. I'm back. Been a while. Didn't think I'd um, get out another samba hunt this year. Uh, but yeah, got a bit of time off this week and uh, just going to clear the head a little bit. And I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm taking the safari rifle, open sights. And uh, it's been a long time since I hunted with my Gramps' 300 Win Mag. And I'm going to do it. Um, I'm only there for just over half a day. Go and pick up a camera. And tossed up, you know, whether I take my 270. You know, every opportunity is an opportunity and um, the scope obviously helps. But I think this will force me to sit and wait. I need to adjust my hunting a little bit. Um, I do walk around a lot. I do, um, I like to walk them up and stalk them, but um, I really need to take the time to start and have the discipline of sitting and waiting. So this old girl, it's gonna help me do it. And I've got some news for you. And I'll tell you about it on the way. Williams of Shedding Light Outdoors and uh, it's a big, it's huge, so I didn't think I'd ever, oh, I didn't think I'd get across there for another five years and um, it's worked out, so I've been working pretty hard to save up this year and so yeah, that's the news, 
We're going whitetail hunting in six weeks. Welcome to Shedding Light Hunting Stories Podcast, a podcast dedicated to the average Joe and their great hunting stories. I'm your host, Travis Williams. You're listening to episode 198. I say good day to you, sir. Here we are in the high country, about to chase the mighty Samba deer. Anyway, Winchester 300 Wind Mag, DUXP, I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm hunting at gentleman's hours. I've got a gentleman's rifle and a gentleman's hat. Let's do it. Oh, I'm shaky. <clears throat> I just had a shot. I just took a shot. Oh, what a hunt. Three deer. Oh, flip. Three deer. Two big hinds, maybe a stag. I'll range it. I took it off hand. I, I was leaning on this across the gully. I think it's it's uh, I'll tell you what, I might have a chance here. <clears throat> it was a hundred and oh, sorry, it was 87 meters. Oh, gee whiz, I haven't. <laughs> And then two others took across, took off. I'll show you. Big creek here. I was standing right here. I was standing here. And I was looking, I was glassing that. And I heard a twig snap there. And I looked and a red, a brown rump went that way. Up across the other side there. Blew my fox whistle to give her a stop. She stopped. Just shaking. She stopped in between those three trees. She was angling up to the right. And I did my best to hold steady and boom. So I'm hoping. Because she took off pretty hard. Alright, let's go. Alright. Look at this, fresh, fresh, fresh. Look at that, fresh marks. <clears throat> Stag and a doe went that way, and my shot was up here somewhere. Ooh. Oh, it's 
uh, just after 1.30 now. Shot was taken at about, what I mean, 12.30, something like that. I can't find tracks, I can't find blood. I found one mark, and it's a pug mark, and it, see, it's on the dry side. On the dry side, and she took off up there, I know she did. I backtracked to where she should have been standing four times now. She should have run on this game trail here, either through there or up here. I can't find marks anywhere. I've got one over here. All right, so she should have come through here. This is the only fresh mark I've got. And it doesn't even look like a running mark. It looks like it's going that way. Starting to rain, just spitting. I've tried to eliminate which way she's gone, but gee, it's hard. I'm certain I hit her. She reacted and bolted up the hill. I know they don't usually run uphill, but gee, she took off. See that? Where are we? There. There's a bit of a cross. Two logs there. I shot, and these are the three trees. One, two, three, just here. She was in between those. So I, and I ranged it, it was 87 or 90 metres, so I'm about the, that distance now, so I've got to find some tracks somewhere. Oh, come on, old girl. Where are you? Oh, this is the thick creek that they crossed after they uh, bumped into me at 8 metres. <laughs> oh man, more droppings. Just go straight up there now. I think that's about it. I'll hunt my way back. I've got 500 metres to the car. Once I get up top here, back to where I took the shot from. Oh, I'm disappointed that I had to leave. I've no tracks, no blood, and I've got to make time to get home. And this is why you go back a different way. Push you through all this junk. The creek's on my right, it runs straight back to the car. There's the um, hillside there, it runs back to the car. Have a look what I found. Just pushing my way through. Oh yeah. Oh. Very nice. Very nice.